everybody. Thank you so much for joining in with us on today. Thank you for allowing us into your homes, into your living rooms, into your kitchens, wherever you are listening at today. We appreciate you. And uh, we're back at it again. Yes, another episode of Together We Can. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and today we're talking about something um, that is so important. We're talking about what happens to the romance after marriage, right? What happens to the romance after marriage? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be good. It's going to be good. This is going to be good because uh, romance is like a lost art. It is like something that uh, many relationships, many couples need, need help with. It's like, you know, when I think about romance, I think about... Uh, you know, couples that lose the butterflies for right. each other. Right. Couples mm -hmm. that lose the flame, that lose the spark. You just lose the ump in your relationship. You know, right. everything. You know, even in even in good relationships, you can you can lose uh, the romantic element uh, of your relationship. Even in good marriages, good relationships. So that's what we want to deal with. Uh, on today. So stick around for it y'all. Yes. So listen, um, when it comes for when it comes to romance, you know, you got to understand is that at the beginning of relationships, uh, romance kind of happens naturally. Right. It, because it, you're in that euphoria state. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's new. It's exciting. And, you know, everything's going great. There's no problems <laughs> <laughs> yeah that that uh, euphoric <laughs> stage you know before the problems come in mm -hmm. before conflict arises uh, you hit the nail on the head you're infatuated with one another yep. you know that infatuation is like you know you wake up in the morning thinking about them you can't wait to the next opportunity to be in their presence and like right. everything they do is just wonderful mm -hmm. Uh, you're, they smell great. They look great. You know. Uh, yeah, you notice things about them. Yes. Like you notice their smile. You notice their eyes. You notice, you know, just the little things mm -hmm. that we tend to take for granted yeah. after the marriage. After you've been married for you know a little while, you tend right. to take those things for granted. Right. And you know another thing I notice about you know uh, what why uh, relationships are genuinely romantic at the beginning here's another key thing come on fill us um in. is that your beginning of your relationship is filled with so many firsts that's true okay yeah first you, kiss first kiss come first on first hug first hug you remember our first kiss yes that thing was like fireworks oh like, my god seriously fireworks <laughs> yes <Woo>. fireworks <laughs> yeah that first kiss um, mm -hmm. That first date, yeah. Um, you know the the first the first time that you do something new and exciting together. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's all kinds of first experiences that even if you've experienced it before, it's the first time with together. that with that person mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And so relationships are uh, are naturally romantic. Here's another one. Here's another reason why relationships are naturally romantic at the beginning is because. We have to send the best represent, representation of ourselves absolutely out yeah. to the other person because we want to win them. Right, right. So you do everything <laughs> which you would think the right way. Right. You know, you say the right things. Right. Right. You do the right things. You open car doors. Oh my. <laughs> you open car doors. You know, you pull out chairs and, yes. you know, all of these things to win that person over. Mm -hmm. And so you're, you're absolutely right. There, there are a lot of things that we do to win them, but we don't apply those same things throughout the marriage. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So listen, y'all, what happens to the romance? Where is my spark? Get your romance back. Where is <laughs> my fire? Where mm -hmm. is those feelings of love? Because, yeah. you know, I, I'm a strong believer that that love in marriage is not based on a feeling. Absolutely. It, it's not yeah. based on a feeling. Yeah. Love is a continual choice. Love is a sacrifice. You know, we learn about we learn about uh, uh, what true love is. Uh, for example, Corinthians, you know, Corinthians chapter 13, mm -hmm. the love chapter yeah. where we dive into it and we understand 
that love is patient and love is kind. kind. Uh, yes. It, it doesn't it's, boast. Doesn't boast. It yes. seeks not our own. Like the true definition of love is what God defines as the agape love. Ooh. And it is Ooh. that self sacrifice, mm -hmm. self sacrificing. It is that I will serve you uh, to love you. Yes. That's that's the true definition of love. And so in marriage, love is not based on feelings. But here here's the thing: when we have romance, the feelings yes. aid the love that we give sacrificially. Absolutely. The choice to love. Is assisted by romance. By romance, yes. Right? Yes. And so romance is, although although it's not the definition of love, it helps you maintain the excitement and the fervor of your love. It kindles the fire. Come on. Yes. You know, you know when you got a fire and it's about to go out or whatever, you gotta throw some wood in there or something in there, you gotta stir it up a little bit. But what is that thing called? With the when you uh with the fireplace, I don't know what it's called. Either. I don't know either, but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the little thing, because we don't have a fireplace yet. Yes. But um, <laughs> but you know you you have to stir the wood up. You have to keep it going. Yeah. You know because you need oxygen. Mm. You need you need things that um that are flammable like wood yeah. and paper. Yes. You know you need all of this to keep the fire going. That's a and good And so analogy. romance is similar to. Um, the oxygen for your for your mm. marriage, you know, wow. romance is similar to to the 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 wood in your marriage. Yes. You know, it keeps it kindling. You wow. know, the little flames flicker. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So y'all ready to go with us on this journey today? Listen, come on. we're going to talk about it, about romance today, because somebody needs to hear this. Somebody's marriage is going to be better after today because Absolutely. of this. So, amen. So amen. Let's we want get your marriage into it. to be better because of this. All right. So what happens to the romance after marriage? I believe first thing first, we have to define what romance is, because a lot of times we have this mystical idea of what romance really is and we're gonna we're gonna uh, actually talk about some of those things that romance is not and mm -hmm. kind of debunk some of those myths but what you have to understand is what is romance okay so a, a good definition I searched for many definitions and, and it was it was kind of uh, interesting how uh, how many definitions there were out there for romance but this is one that I found that I thought was really 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 good what is romance okay so romance refers to actions and feelings of people who are in love especially behavior which is very caring or affectionate mm. all right Selfish, so selfless yes behavior. yes romance refers to the actions and the feelings so romance is not only something that you do, mm. but romance is something that you feel. It's oh, something yes. that you embrace. So yes, it's the good. actions and the feelings of people that who are in love. You know, wow. when we have a romantic relationship, we got something going. It's something that we feel. It's something that that lives and breathes, like you were saying. And and it's talking about especially things that are very caring and affectionate. So romance is best characterized by caring and affectionate and loving behavior. Somebody put that in the comment. Caring, affectionate, and loving behavior. Yes. Put that in the comment. Yes, yes, yes. Now watch this. Romantic, okay? So we just defined what romance was, but what does it mean for something to be romantic or someone to be romantic? Here it is. I'm going to help you out. Break it down. Romantic is something that invokes thoughts or feelings of love including sentimental love gestures wow. so in order for something to be romantic uh -huh. it has to kindle or spark feelings of love mm -hmm. all right or or feelings of love or affection mm -hmm. all right it invokes thoughts or feelings of love so when something is romantic, you can go out to dinner and have a good time, uh -huh. but that's not the same as a romantic, romantic dinner, dinner, okay? Because mm -hmm. ro romantic or romance is something that pulls the attention to or draws the focus to the love to that the you love. share. Wow. Yes. So, so give an example of 
um, a romantic dinner mm -hmm. versus just a regular dinner. So a regular dinner, you know, we go out to a nice restaurant or whatever. Carabas, Carabas. Carabas. <laughs> <laughs> we go out to Carabas or whatever. That's that's a nice dinner. Right. So what makes that nice dinner a romantic dinner? Mm, wow. See, the difference between a nice dinner out and just us going, because we go out to dinner, we love to eat out, uh, and we go out to dinner and we'll chill and have a good time, mm -hmm. but a romantic dinner is a little bit different because uh, it, it, it might be the way I set it up, mm -hmm. the way I set it up, the way I introduce that we're going out to dinner. Mm -hmm. It might be that I take you to a place uh, where the atmosphere is very romantic. It might yes. be, um, you know, if I do it at home, it might involve uh, a candlelight and setting the table. The red you know? light special. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's the difference. So romance is the things that draw your attention or draw your focus to your feelings of love and causes you to think about love. Listen, romance is so important. It's one of the vital parts of, of every relationship. And so uh, now that we have the definitions, let's go a little bit further because I want to talk about some myths today um, pertaining to romance mm -hmm. that oftentimes become a hindrance, okay, to us. And it's the reason why uh, we don't have success in romance. Number one, romance does not have to be expensive. Wow. Say okay. that again. Romance does not have to be expensive. Type it in the comments. Come on, put that in the comments. Romance, Romance does not have to be expensive. Okay, and I, I used to I used to fall into this because I used to think that if I'm gonna do something romantic, I've gotta spend a hundred and fifty dollars and do all this stuff right. and make all this all of these things uh, just perfect and just right in order to be romantic. But the problem with that, unless you just got you know, unless you just got Money on top of money. Uh, what do you call them? Rubber bands? <laughs> bands? Stacks. Stacks. You know, unless you just got <laughs> money like that, um, you know, you don't always have the funds right. to go out and, and spend, you know, $100 per person right. on, on But you have the idea. Dinner. Right, right. And so, so sometimes we limit ourselves mm -hmm. to say, well, I can't afford to be romantic because it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost too much. No, that is a myth. Romance does not have to be expensive, and we're going to help you out. We're going to help couples out today and let you see and understand that it really is not about a money thing. Mm -hmm. it, it, now, granted, sometimes you put, you invest money. You know, you right. invest money to have that special moment or that special time with your with your spouse, but it doesn't require money. You can be romantic on a poor man's budget. Come on here. You can. You really can. So that's one of myth number one. That I have to have all kinds of money to do something romantic, okay? Right. Um, uh, number two, uh, romance is not about having all of these eloquent, uh, flowery words and, you know, you don't have to be a poet. You don't have to be Shakespeare right. in order to be romantic. You know, a lot of men just, a lot of men sometimes be like, well, you know, I don't know how to do that. You know, I just don't got it in me. I'm just not, I'm not romantic. I just, I just tell it like it is. I just say how I feel. And, and you know, uh, romance is not about being some, you know, uh, some or some Romeo, some right. poet or some guru or anything like that. Um, it's about being real. It's about being real. It's about just coming from your heart about how you feel about your, about your spouse. Yeah. Like just yeah. be real in your own individual way. Right. You know, in your own individual way. Don't try to do it like how you've seen other people do it. Even if you get advice from somebody, yeah. which is okay to get advice from somebody, mm -hmm. but you still don't have to do it in their way. You yes. can make it your own. Yes. You know, so so I'm pretty sure we may give advice on here tonight, on today, you know, but make it your own. Right. You know? You gotta make it your own. You know, I, I, you know, it's not about the pressure for me to come up with these words that are so uh, uh, eloquent. You know, my love for you is like an unending ember uh, that burns on the logs of eternity. And the fire kindles so greatly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You sometimes we get intimidated by yeah. what we think because we watch movies. We've read books. We see all these things that 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 is uh, supposedly romantic, 
Um, but some some stuff is just not real, realistic. And romance is not about being all eloquent and having some special gift. It doesn't take a special gift to be romantic. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a special personality type to be romantic. Because the proof is, you were probably romantic when you first met her or That's when right. you first met him. That's right. And you didn't even have to think about right. it. Right. And they felt, your spouse fell in love with you the way that you were. Right. So, trying to be something else or somebody else is not probably not even appealing to them mm -hmm. because that's not you right so just be yourself now here's the here's the third myth all right uh and i know the ladies will appreciate this one all right romance is not always sexual in nature that's right mm, romance that's is right. not always sexual in nature mm -hmm. romance is not always and a, a, a means to lead to the bedroom. Absolutely. Okay, it's yep. not. Yep. Uh, ro we think about romance a lot of times in the connotation of sexual relationship mm -hmm. and that all romance has got to be sexual in nature. Well, that's how society is made. Yeah, you yeah. Know, that's how the televisions have made it. Mm -hmm. You know, you go out for a romantic dinner, the next scene is somebody in bed. Yeah. You know, that's just, that's just how they have made it. Automatic automatic yeah. you know and but it doesn't have to be that way yeah you know i mean if it leads to that then it leads to that but that that shouldn't be your end goal right. your because romance you're basically from your heart expressing your love to your spouse yes so expressing how much you appreciate them yeah. expressing expressing you know how much you love them with kind gestures going beyond the normal dinner or the normal act and you know, putting some some romantic elements in there. I That's all it. it is. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now I can tell you this, fellas, that the more romantic you are, I guarantee you that it will it will work for your sex life. It will. It <laughs> will. It will help out and it will aid. All right, ladies, you too. Okay. Because <laughs> sometimes we seem to think that the men are the more sexual one, but that's not the case all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, that's true. We don't yeah. want to. We don't want to stereotype, right? Right. Um, but I just had to throw that out there. So we want to encourage you today to let you know that your romance does not have to die. Your the romantic element of your relationship does, does not, not have to die. Get okay? that fire Get back. It back. Yes. Get them flames burning mm, again, yes. right? So you can have that those feelings because we yeah. you know we, we talked about it being the romantic side invoking the feeling of love mm -hmm. you know love doesn't have a feeling love you know is action but the romantic side of it invokes the feeling right. so you know get the feeling back right you know? yeah I, I agree wholeheartedly so here 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 is what we want to do we want to make it practical now and we want to like give you some further understanding about romance, okay? About we talked about the myths of romance, but now we want to draw your attention more so to what romance is, okay? Romance is more about the small everyday expressions of love. Wow. It is not about the big, you know, fireworks, the big thing that like you said earlier that you spend a bunch of money on. Right. Romance is more about those small everyday expressions of love mm -hmm. really if i was to say, say it like anything uh when you think about romance romance is really honestly it's remembering not to take each other for granted oh that's good and you said that earlier that's good when when you get into romance it's like i don't take our love for granted i know that you love me i right. know that you love me right. Right, and I and I hope that you know that I love you. I absolutely do know. <laughs> she, she knows it, y'all. Uh, <laughs> she knows it, but I can never take you for granted. You know, I and and, and you know the the old folks used to say, uh, what it took to win them is what you got to do to keep them. Right, mm -hmm. and, and that was that was That's good true. advice. That was good advice because the same energy and the same effort mm -hmm. and the same uh, attention to detail that wow. I put in to win your heart wow. is what I have to continue to do in order to keep the love alive. Yes. And if I ever stop, if I ever start putting that less energy in or that less attention to detail or mm -hmm. that less, you know, uh, uh, effort in, 
then there is a potential for us to still be to, to still love each other. Right. But all of the feelings that are those those good feelings that are associated with love can die out. Absolutely. And I think we we kind of we kind of brought this um, this example from mm -hmm. one of our previous um, recordings and. I think we were saying like it's the same thing like when you go on a new job. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You do all That's that good. you can in the interview to get the job. Yeah. Right? You put your best clothes on, yeah. you say the right things, you answer those questions that they ask you the right way. But then after a while, after you get the job, you show up to work late, you slack off, you don't do the work that is required of you yep. to do. And you know, you're still going to work, but you're not as effective. Yeah. anymore going while you're at work yeah them eight hours that you're getting paid to be there you're not really putting in the work that you know you should be doing and so it's the same thing with your marriage like your marriage is still there you're still you know in a marriage but you don't have those same feelings anymore wow. because you're not putting in the work that's required for you to have the euphoria feeling it's not saying that it's going to be there all the time yeah. but those little small gestures helps to kindle that that romance yeah. in that fire yeah it does like like there was a time that you couldn't wait to get home and be in mm -hmm. your spouse presence yeah you can get that back again I know it seemed like it's impossible. I know it seemed like y'all been married for 10, 15 years and that's 20, just over 30 years. 20 or 30 years. That's just over mm -hmm. with. Even five years sometimes, you know, that's we've true. already lost that element. Yeah. But you can get that back again. See, what happens is you cannot get relaxed. You cannot get comfortable. That's right. Because you get when you get comfortable, you lose focus. Mm. You lose focus on the small things that really matter. Yeah. Right? And then these these other things take precedence over the little small things that once mattered. To right. You. you know, so you can't lose focus. Yeah. I, I'd like to bring up the argument that even God himself is a, is a romantic. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, the most famous scripture in the entire world, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world Absolutely. that he gave. He gave. He gave. Gave his only begotten son. Not selfish. Yes. A selfless act. A selfless act. Of the cross. See, he so loved that it was not just love in, in word, but it was love in expression. Mm -hmm. And he sized up what we needed. Wow. And he gave us just that. Just that. You know? Wow. And, and, and so these elements of romance and stuff, is stuff that really comes from, from the very heart of God. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to bring this point up. Um, you know, romance is, not. we said earlier, it's, it's not taking each other for granted, not taking the love for granted. Mm -hmm. But it's also this, expressing interest in what your spouse is thinking, feeling, wanting, and doing. Come on, somebody put that in the comments. Thinking, Thinking feeling, feeling, wanting, wanting and doing. doing. Come on, put that in the comments for somebody. Expressing interest mm -hmm. in what your spouse is thinking, wanting, feeling, and doing. Mm -hmm. So I have to be engaged in what, you know, the mind of Katrina, mm -hmm. you know, um, because I have to be so into you, not just for your physical beauty. Right. And not just for your looks, but I want to get into your mind. Right. What do you right. think? I, I got to get into what you feel mm -hmm. because you are an emotional being, mm -hmm. you know, and your feelings are important to me. It, it, it matters that you feel good about us. It matters that you feel, you know, joy when you think about when you mm -hmm. think about our relationship. I got to get into what you want. Yes, right. sir. Right. What do you want? The yeah. little things that you like. What are your likes and that? what are your dislikes? And we have a thing in our in our marriage uh, mentoring that we do called Lover School. Lover School. Lover School. And this Lover School is really... Re rediscovering each other. Yes. Rediscovering one another. Mm -hmm. And it's really... Lover School is really the art of romance, honestly. Yes. Yes. It really is the art of romance. And so, um, you know, I know this is helping somebody out here, but you got to get into what your spouse is thinking, what they want, what they're feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, all of those things are very important to be engaged and to really be connected in those areas. All right. I once heard my sister say, I love um, when my husband can 
get into my mind with conversation or I love mm. a man that can get into my mind with conversation. Yeah. You know? That's so, good. So, you know, women, we like, we like that. Mm -hmm. You know, we love the conversation part. Yeah. You know, to, for you to find out what we're thinking. Wow. What, what we're going through, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. I'm teaching, but I'm taking notes at the same time. Um, you know, one of my one of my uh, one of the people that I really look up to um, is named uh, Jimmy Evans, uh, yes, and they Jimmy have and Karen. Jimmy and Karen Evans. But Jimmy Evans is a phenomenal uh, authority and a phenomenal voice on marriage. And if you ever get a chance, you know you can check them out. They have a ministry called Marriage uh, Marriage Today. But he said something. Uh, about romance that I thought was really revelating. He says, the real art of romance is that I am thinking about you. Romance is no more than this. I'm mm -hmm. thinking about you even when I, when you're not in my presence, when you're not around. When you, when you think about that, everything that a romantic person does, mm -hmm. it, it's a reflection that you're on my mind and you're on my heart. Wow. You're on my mind and you're on my heart. Yes, so I'm yes. thinking about you even without being prompted. I, I'm, I, I'm thinking about you even when, I'm, when you're not in my presence and you're on my heart. Like everything concerning you really, really matters to me deeply. Yes. And I, I thought that was, that was amazing because that's exactly what romance does. Now, exactly. now my definition of romance, this is, this is Wilkins, okay? This is Wilkins here. Wilkins 101. <laughs> Uh, when I thought about romance and the, and the heart of it and the essence of it is this. Romance to me is I want to continually win your heart and I want to continually make this special for you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I want to continually pursue your heart mm, and I want good. to continually make things special for you. That's good. That's so, good. So every day I want to pursue your heart. Every day I'm after your affection. Every single day I'm after, you know, making you feel glad that you chose me. And when you say Ooh. every single day, mm -hmm. some people might get in your mind like, how, you know, how every single day, you know, can I do something? Right. But it could be something as small as a sticky note, you know, by the refrigerator that yeah. you know your spouse got to get lunch out of the refrigerator. Sticky note that says, I love you. Right. Or have a great day at work. Right. You know, something just as simple as that, you know, yeah, yeah. it doesn't really take, it doesn't take a whole lot. It doesn't. It know? really doesn't. And, I, and I've done that. Have I not done that? Absolutely. I do that. I do that a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know my, my wife is a coffee drinker, right? So, you know, there are times um, that I will leave a, a note for her uh, up by the coffee pot, by the Keurig machine, just to get her day going. And, and let her know, you know, hey, I'm thinking about you. I want you to have a great day. I love you. I'm so glad that you're my wife. Yes. I am the luckiest man alive. And when she wakes up in the morning. Look at that big cool And she smile. wakes up in the morning. <laughs> okay. But I bet you were smiling that morning, though. <laughs> bet you were smiling that morning, though. But, you know, it, it does. It brings me joy. I am, I am a hopeless romantic. I really am. Um, I, I, I really love it. Um, and I'm glad that it's a part of, of, you know, I don't find it too corny. I don't find it too soft to be a man. Like, I ain't doing that. You know, no, I, um, <laughs> you know, I love it. I love, yeah. I love to win, like I said, to win mm -hmm. your heart. I want to win your heart every single day. And I want to make things special for you. All right. So there, there's those two elements of romance. And it's I want to continually win your heart. Mm -hmm. And I want to make this special for you now the this can be a lot of things it could be it could be a lot of things the this like, can be let's just say that your spouse has a long day at work mm -hmm. you know the this could be i want to make your night that yes. this is their night right i want to make your night special when you come home from a long day's work babe tell them what you did for me the other day when i had that long <laughs> i had that long hard day of work and this was one of the romantic memories that I got to give her credit for and that will like it's, it will stick out to me for a long time. A real well, it was time. a couple of days, yeah. but um, he, you know, my husband, he has been working a lot lately. Like I'm talking about 
just yesterday he went to work at what seven and didn't get home until ten or nine thirty or something like that. Yeah. So I mean he's been working a lot. And so when he comes home I have bath water in for him. Um, some little bubbly, you know, just a little Welch's grape juice thingy, you know, in a little cup for him or some Kool-Aid because we love Kool-Aid, you know, <laughs> you know, and some Kool-Aid and some little relaxing jazz music playing for him, you know, with the lights and can the lights all with candles and everything or whatever. Just to say, I know you've had a long day. Yeah. Take a moment to pause. Yeah. Right. Take a moment to just take the day off of you unload the day that you've had wow you know because it has been a day so for me my romantic gesture to him was take a load off of the day you know take take it just relax mm -hmm. just unwind you know i'm here at at your service you know i even take his clothes off for him you know so he don't have to do he don't have to lift a finger when he walked through the door you know, I take his clothes off for him, you know, ensure that he's in the tub, you know, and whenever he's ready, you know, to get out, I'm there, you know, whatever. You right. Know? So. Yeah, she did that, y'all. She did that. And it was, I felt, I felt in that moment how much she really cared for me. I felt in that moment so appreciated uh, for what she did and it was it was something that was just so moving and like I said I will remember it for a long time to come and that was a, a amazing uh, gesture of, of romance so uh, continually winning each other's heart you know we're gonna get into a few more examples um, here uh, in a little bit but it's it's that I'm thinking of you mm -hmm. uh, even when I'm not with you I'm thinking about you you are on my mind and you are on my heart. Yeah. It is continually my efforts to win your heart and to make things special for you. So let's talk about now because we're, we're almost out of time. But we're going to talk about how uh, romance can be expressed. Because sometimes people need some like practical examples of like, listen, how can romance be expressed? How is it going to be expressed and you know what can I do to bring back the remote uh, romantic element uh, into my relationship? Mm -hmm. So we got a couple ways that romance can be expressed. Let's talk about it from from a dating um, scenario, mm -hmm. okay? From a you look like you want to say something from <laughs> no. a dating scenario. We gotta talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. What? What is it? Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna talk about it from a dating scenario. Um, how romance can be expressed all right so uh, you know we talked we actually touched on this a little bit you can go out to eat you can go out and do something but there's a difference when you do something romantic all right because mm -hmm. sometimes you know a romantic dinner is different than just going out to dinner just to kick it um, romantic dinner you have to consider that you know we said earlier it's about making it special right. for you right. so perhaps the way you take a regular eating you know eating out going out to dinner session and turn it into a romantic is that you pick a place where the, the, the ambiance is amazing. I'm talking about where it's beautiful on the inside, where the service is, is, is amazing, uh, where um, there is, you know, the, the, the lighting, there is a dimness of the lights mm -hmm. and uh, perhaps even, um, perhaps even you, set up a special invitation right you know tonight you know listen on friday we're going out you are cordially invited and you slip a little invitation yes. you know to your spouse mm -hmm. you know and those that's the kind of thing that makes it that makes it special mm -hmm. uh what about dressing up yeah i was just about to say come that. on you know adding these special little elements you know you can either you know wear a dress women wear a dress or it does it has doesn't have to be a dress, but anything that you know your husband loves to see you in. Yes. You know, and husbands, the same thing. Wear something that you know that, you know, your wife loves to see you in. Or you can pick out each other's, you know, wardrobe for the night. Right. You know, you can do that yeah. too. I mean, that, that's always a good idea. So, you know, and if you can't afford to go out, 
listen, there's ways to do it right at home. Mm -hmm. You know, cooking a good meal for mm -hmm. your spouse. You Serendipity. Know? Yes. So we have some really good friends, right? <laughs> so they do something called serendipity yeah where they yeah. set the the atmosphere cook a really nice dinner you know put on some really nice music romantic music and they just have dinner right in their house yeah and they call it serendipity yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and they, they, you know, they did it for us one time, it yes. was, and it was amazing. amazing. It, was, it was beautiful, yeah. and it uh, opened our eyes up to see, like, hey, you know, we got to do this more because right. this is an important element of maintaining that fire and that spark. Mm -hmm. So you can set your own table in your own, you know, dining yeah. room and put out the special cloth and put out, you know, those those that special china, those special plates, you know. Uh, those mm -hmm. special glasses, put on some music, yeah. have the house smelling nice, yeah. prepare your spouse's favorite meal, exactly what you know that they like. Right. You know, that's what it's all about. And just sit down and just have that that romantic dinner right in the comfort and convenience of your house. Mm -hmm. This is why we said it does not take a whole lot of money in order to be romantic. OK, yep. so that's some ideas, you know. Um, you know, just the just the extra thought to make it special. Like I said, that invitation, that preparation and that formal invitation, like, you know, this is this is just about me and you, girl, and I can't wait to take you out. So, you know, we, you got that going on. Um, so many other things you can do. And we'll come back to that at another time uh, when we talk about dating. We, we, we got that in the works and plan for you all. Um, the next one, you know, your your sexual your sexual encounters, your sex life. Um, although romance is not only about sex, right. not exclusively about sex, but romance is important in the bedroom. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is. It yeah. is. And so you have to understand um, that even with, with sexual encounters, that romance is important, at least at least sometimes, okay? Yeah. Um, throw some rose petals on the, on the bed or, yeah. you know, throw some rose petals on the bed. Change the light bulb. Change the light Come bulb on. in your your light fixture. Like, you can change it to red. You can change, you know, their light bulbs come in multiple colors. Yeah. So whatever you're in the mood for that night, change the light bulb. That's just a small, small, a small element to add to nice. your to your um, bedroom mm -hmm. to 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 bring in the, the the element of romance. Right, and you can color coordinate. Red means you know. Red means I'm in charge. Blue means you're in charge. Right. Whatever. whatever. <laughs> Mix it up. Have yeah, fun. Have fun with it. But listen, romance is that I want to make this special mm -hmm. for you, okay? I want to make it special for you because you have your everyday, you know, your everyday living. You have even your everyday uh, uh, sex life. Yep. Um, but every now and then, it's good to make it romantic, you yes. know? This is where things like, you know, maybe the woman wears... Uh, something sexy, lingerie or something like that to bed. You know, you can put on uh, music. Mm -hmm. You can put on music. You can change the lighting, the rose petals, the candlelight. Right. Listen, all of those things say that tonight is special. Um, and, and this is just for you. I'm thinking yes. just, I'm thinking about you. And again, that is an element of romance as well. And you got to mm -hmm. be creative got to be creative you right. know but it doesn't take a whole lot of money you know it? and it doesn't nope. take a whole lot of time or effort it's just that i'm putting the extra effort in listen men when you you know when you try this and do this the first time your woman might look at you like what's going on you know uh <laughs> what, what you want or what you done did <laughs> Uh, but you know, it's something that we got to practice, mm -hmm. uh, uh, regularly. Okay. So Even that, a movie night. Yes. You can have movie night Dinner right in the house. Movie. Dinner in a movie. What's that? What's that? Um, movie theater in Mount Pleasant. Oh, Cinnabar. Cinnabar. Yeah. Yeah. We used to go there a lot, yeah. you know, for dinner and a movie. Right. You know, so you, you can do that. At yeah. Home. Cinnabar is where you actually eat dinner while you're sitting watching the movie. So they... You know, for those of you who don't know, they actually, it's a unique theater where they serve your food uh, right there, you know, while you're watching the movie. So you're eating, enjoying each other, and watching the movie at the same time. It's a pretty mm -hmm. neat concept. Um, so, yeah. um, going on 
going on from this, um, not only is it, you know, it involved in your romance, it involves your dating, romance involves your sex life, but romance also involves the everyday things, the small gestures mm -hmm. of love that keep your relationship uh, uh, on fire, okay? Yes. So how about this, guys? Flowers and gifts for no reason. For no reason. No special occasion. It don't. It's not Valentine's Day. It's not your birthday. Right. It's not Christmas. Right. It's none of those things. I just sent you flowers because I am thinking about you. Mm -hmm. I sent them to your job or I delivered them to the house mm -hmm. or I came home with them. Mm -hmm. Something to just let you know I, I love you. Right. You know. Um, and women, you can do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> the men doesn't always have to be the one that's being romantic. Right. Okay? Say that. Right. Say that. So women do the same thing. Send your husband some flowers or send yeah. him something, you know, that you know that he likes. Right. You know, or get him something that he likes. You mm -hmm. know, you know, you, it doesn't good. always have to be the women. That's good. Um, you know, a, a card, you know, a, ca men. a card for no reason, you know, a card for no reason. Mm -hmm. Um, leaving those love notes, you know, we talked about it earlier. I do that for my wife. I leave her little love notes, uh, you know, just to get her day going, you know, that's an element of being romantic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, here's another one. Here's another good one. Um, picking up something that your spouse mentioned that they wanted in casual conversation. Yeah. You know, and, you know, I got a little thing, you know, I'm letting out some of my secrets, but I got a little thing in my phone. It's called the Katrina Notes. Mm -hmm. The Katrina Notes, all right? And in my in my Katrina Notes, I pick up little clues of things that she likes or things that she prefers mm -hmm. or things that, she, you know, that are important to her. Like, you know, this is real simple. This is real simple, but... It's an element of romance, right? Mm -hmm. So we have, you know, we're in a house that has two two stories, right? And the Wi-Fi router is upstairs. Right. All right? It's upstairs. And I'm not going upstairs. She don't like to go upstairs, no, right? I'm not going upstairs. So <laughs> she, she don't like to go upstairs. It's just her thing. She don't like to go upstairs. That's where the kids' rooms are. And she just don't like to go up there. I can count on my hands. How much time she probably go up there in six Going months on one hand. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, whenever something happens, if we get something like a new phone or something that we have that requires Wi-Fi, she needs that Wi-Fi password. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, yeah. you know, I might be at work. Be like, Babe, you know the Wi-Fi <laughs> password. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so. Oh, my God. Just go upstairs, girl. But no, no, no. no. Romance. I can say, why don't you just go upstairs and get the Wi-Fi password? But because I have, I have like, studied her and I take notes, um, I have the Wi-Fi password saved in my phone. So I could be clear at work. She could be in the house and she don't yeah. want to go upstairs. I ain't going upstairs. And she going to call me or text me and say, babe, what's the Wi-Fi password again? But you know what? Because I'm such a romantic, I got your password, baby. Don't worry. Just give me a second. Let me go on this phone right quick. Get your password, girl. I love you. Come on, you. Casanova. I love you, girl. I'm thinking about you all the time. I anticipated that you would need this. And so, and so that's the element of, of romance. You know what I'm saying? So I got all these Katrina notes, just little things that I keep in there. I got her tire size. You know, I got things that she said that she has wanted. I got her her favorite fragrances in there. So, you know, just different things. I mean, I can't let everything out the bag what I got in there because, you know, you know, but I, I study I study her and I take notes. And so it enables me to cater to things that she wants. So if you pick up something that your spouse has been mentioning that they that they wanted, there was one time um, there was one time that um, I was just listening to her say, Oh, I like that song, you know. Oh, I love that song. Or I would pay attention to the songs that came on the radio and that she would sing and that she that would just get her like all oh, either worshiping or just just you know bring the life out of her. And I, I took notes on every single one of those songs, and what I did is I compiled them all on a CD for her. And then one morning what I did is I went out to the car before she went to work. And I, I put the CD in the CD player. And so that when she got in the car and went to work, all of these 
songs beginning to play for her every song that she said that she liked or that I noticed that she loved. And so I remember that day. You remember that? I remember. And yeah. you were you were kind of going through something at that time, yeah. and I think you said you know it just meant so much and made you cry. Yeah. Um, so you know it's little things like so that. Kind. It's little <laughs> things like that. It's little things like yeah. that that go a long way. So um, you know also you know we talked about the love notes. Um, you can also what about uh, holding hands? You know mm -hmm. the lost art of holding hands. Yeah, yeah we the, were. We were jogging um, yesterday <laughs> <laughs> or walking, like, you know, walking yeah. with, with some speed. And, and we were holding hands. I was like, man, what, what are our neighbors going to think? <laughs> we walking and holding hands. <laughs> walking around the neighborhood getting some exercise. And she's like, wow, we, hold, we even hold hands when we walk. I was like, you right, we do. That's what we fit to do. How we roll. If y'all don't like it. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> but um, and you know this is this is when when we talk about and we get to lover school we'll talk about love languages yeah. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But physical touch is important yeah. uh, to a lot of people and so for you know that's something that you had to get used to because right. you weren't really like that. Yeah, his know? love one of his love languages is physical touch. Yeah. And so I always like to hold hands, you know, even if we're in the car, where I'm probably touching you some kind of way, touching your leg, touching your arm, you know, touching you some kind of way, got my arm around you, uh, you know, I just want to sit by you in church, you know, and, and all that stuff. Uh, all of those elements are, are romantic. Here's another one. Uh, flirting. Flirting. Yep. Flirting. Y'all know when y'all was dating, y'all used to flirt. Flirt up. Flirt. <laughs> That's how they say it. Up. That's how they say it in Charleston. Yeah. Everything you gotta put it up on the end. Right. I'm tired up. You know. <laughs> it's hot up. You know. This is good up. You know. <laughs> That's Charleston, y'all. But sometimes you, you know you got to flirt up. Flirt up. <laughs> Come on, put that in the comments. Flirt, flirt up. up. <laughs> flirt up. Um. You got to flirt, you know, flirting is an element of romance. And so, you know, we can flirt even when we're miles apart. You might right. be on the other side of town, but I can send you a text. Mm -hmm. You know, I love you, girl. I can't wait to, I can't wait to get, you know, be with you tonight. Mm -hmm. Not talking about sexually, but right. just to be with you tonight. You know, mm -hmm. that's flirting. Um, you know, mm -hmm. uh, just doing little things, loving gestures to say, I'm yeah. thinking about you and it's my goal to win your heart continually and make this special for you. All right. Absolutely. So you got anything to say on that? Uh, mm -hmm. You got to You got to continue to flirt. You got to continue to flirt. Mm -hmm. um, how about this? Uh, what about this? This is another one. This is going to be funny. Uh, pet names. Oh. Do you have pet names? Uh, one time, you know, my wife was like, you know, she was, you know, she has me as, uh, what you got me in your phone? My king. My king. My king. I call him lover boy. Lover boy. Lover boy. Hey, lover babe. boy. Babe. You know, all these things. And she checked me because I had her in my phone as Katrina. Katrina. <laughs> Like seriously, yeah, you Katrina. Know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a darn king in her phone, right. and she just Katrina in my phone, you know. And so, uh, <laughs> um, so she checked me. So I had to add. I changed it. I changed it to Katrina, my love. So now when she calls me, it says Katrina, my love. Um, so I fixed it. I fixed it, y'all. Uh, but you know, pet names. You know, yeah. uh, those things are endearing, and they're they're another way. Uh, uh, romantic. Y'all know y'all got, you know, come on. Y'all know y'all used to call each other schnookums. Come on. You know you used to call each other schnookums. And my boo and all this other stuff. No, boo. Yeah, my boo. Yeah, but I don't know about schnookums. Well, they, you know, we schnookums? got... <laughs> Whatever you call your significant other, but those, <laughs> those pet names, you know, I don't just call her Katrina. Most of the time, um, when even at, I found myself at work, even when she calls me, I could be around a bunch of people and she'll call and I'd be like, Hey love, how you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, I call her most of the time I find myself calling her love because that's what I associate her with. Mm -hmm. That's what I, that's what I feel when I see her. That's what I feel when I think about her. So when I answer the phone, it's like, Hey love, how you doing? You know, mm -hmm. Hey love, you know, and so, and I call you babe, babe, babe. yeah. Yep. You know, I'm such a babe. 
Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> that was corny. That oh was Oh my juicy. god. All right, this video's over. <laughs> Uh, babe, you know, but she does. Babe, yeah. can you get me something to drink? Babe, can you get my shoes? Babe, can you get my, left my key, babe? You know, I'd be like, okay, babe about to, babe, <laughs> babe is done. <laughs> but what about when I say, babe, I love you? Oh, that too. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes there's no strings attached. Sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time it's, babe, can you? Babe, can you? You might as well make that a compound word. Babe Kenya. <laughs> Babe Kenya. <laughs> Babe Kenya. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> so, that we're, we're just about through, y'all. What This is another one. Creating memories together. Oh, yeah. You, you, yeah. you know, romance is also about creating memories together. You know, mm -hmm. what is like something that we did together that we'll always remember? Right. This is why, you know, you got to take, you know, it, it, it's, you know, take pictures sometimes, mm -hmm. capture memories, make memories together, make it memorable. Somebody put that in the comments. Make it memorable. Make it memorable. If you're going to do it, do it big. If you're going to do it, make it memorable. Yeah. All you right? can talk about those things later and be like, you yeah. remember when so and so and so yes. happened. You yes. You know, and Absolutely. you're like, wow, I can't, I can't. I can't even believe that even happened. Like, yeah. you know? But yeah, what's something that I remember that we haven't done in a long time? Like, we would go to the beach at night. Oh, yeah. And just walk on the beach, mm -hmm. you know, when we were that dating. That was beautiful. And we haven't done that in a, a long, long time. time. Yeah. So, that's something that we, we got to do. Yeah. We got to do. But make it memorable. And mm -hmm. you create those memories. Remember, romance is about, uh, uh, the, it, it's about those things that people do to endear the love, to to energize the love. Yeah, rekindle. Uh, rekindle the, the fire. love. Yeah. That's what romance is all about. Yeah. So, um, you know, a couple ideas, and then we're gonna we're gonna leave you all um, today. Uh, but you know, some ideas that you can do to be romantic. You know, um, you can give your significant other a massage. Yeah, massage. That's yeah. Rom you know, that's very romantic. You know, yeah. uh, it's not it's not hard to do. Um, I just I did that for you the other day. Yeah. Yeah. When mm -hmm. when you had had a hard day. Yeah. And I just gave her a, a full body massage just to relax her. Um, mm -hmm. What's something else? What's something else you can think of? Um, um, something. Well, you know. Well, I've done the same thing. Gave you a massage, mm -hmm. a full body massage. Um, something to relax. Um, like maybe taking off a chore. Yeah. Taking off a chore off of. You know, your yes, spouse. Yes. You know, that that ease the stress and yeah. help them to relax when they come home. I took you know? care of it for you. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, That's I took good. care of it for you. So You um, know what else is uh, really good? To get like some index cards, right? And allow your spouse, you each get a deck of index cards and you each write something on it that you would love. You know, to do or to get or something. Yeah. And you swap the decks and you allow your spouse to choose from that deck something to do for you. That's good. For that day or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know? So, I mean, and you can make it spontaneous. Right. Like, you can just make it fun, you know? Your spouse will never know that today I'm planning on going in that deck of cards and picking out something that's going to make my spouse feel really good because I know this is going to make him or her feel nice because she or he wrote it. Right. You know, as something that they would love yeah. to do or to have done or whatever. That's good. So that's a really nice side gesture that is good. to do. We talked about earlier um, getting into the mind. You know, mm -hmm. being fully engaged on what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're doing. Yeah. You know, all of those things. I remember there was one night. And this is an idea for some of you fellas. All right. This is something that I did a long time ago. Uh, and, and so maybe I got to do it again. But there was one night, you know, we get so used to um, eating dinner, turning on the TV, doing all this. Mm -hmm. And I remember that I said, babe, turn off the TV turn off the lights mm -hmm. just sit in the bed and let's just talk pillow talk pillow talk mm -hmm. no tv no lights spontaneous let's just talk tonight and we talked for like 
I don't know, almost two or three yeah, hours. It was good. Two or three hours. Mm -hmm. We just sat up and talked and we laughed till we probably cried. Uh, we talked about so much. Yeah. But just that moment, you know, that's another one that stuck out to me. Even though that was, you know, a while ago. Yeah. It stuck out to me, you know, like. A memorable, memorable moment. Memorable moments. Yeah. And so, you know, that's another idea, fellas. You can, mm -hmm. you can steal that one. That's on the house. That's for free. Say, like, girl, turn off the lights, turn off the TV. We're just going to talk tonight. Yeah. All right. There yeah. you go. Uh, some of you are good at writing, you know, writing that love letter. Writing yeah. that poem. I know a story of a Get man. real creative. Yeah, yeah. I heard a story of a man who wrote his wife a poem every single day for their marriage. Mm. You know, marriage like 40 or 50 years. And every single day he wrote her a short poem. Like, my God, that's uh, that's impressive. But, right. but, you know, it's something that he did to say that I'm thinking about you every single day. You could go... Mm. You can create, um, you know, some kind of special outing, a picnic or, yeah. you know, a, a, a romantic uh, a romantic getaway. Yeah. Um, but it's all about discovering each other. Mm -hmm. So so here it is, y'all. This is, uh, you know, what we had in our heart to share with you today. Yes. Your romance does not have to die. Absolutely The not. romantic spark mm -hmm. of your relationship does not have to die. And so we're going to pray. We're going to pray with you um, mm -hmm. today. We're going to pray with you on, 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 on this particular subject matter so that every single person who is dealing with uh, feeling like you've lost the spark, like you've mm -hmm. lost that element of what makes love feel good, right? right. What right. makes love feel good yeah. again. I love you, but I want to feel, I want to feel that love. Yeah. All right. Um, Yes, this this is our heart today, and I hope that what you've heard today is helping you. So yes, you want to you want to pray with us today? Yes, and if you guys have any prayer requests, you might not want to type it in the in the in the comment section or whatever, but just inbox us. You know, just let us know what you want us to touch and agree on for your marriage, right? For yes. your home, for your children, it doesn't matter, yes. right? We'll be praying for you. We will be praying for you and with you. All right. So we're going to go into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we yes, thank Lord. you for this opportunity to come before your people on today, thank oh God. You, we are desiring, oh God, they are desiring to have a marriage God's way, the way yes. that you say it for it to be, oh God. And today, God, we thank you right now for bringing the romance back into the marriages, oh God. Yes, Re Lord. Restoring the fire, oh God, that was once there, oh God. Yeah. Oh God, because the enemy desires to come in. The enemy desires to sip them as wheat, oh yes, God. Lord. But, oh God, but I'm so glad, oh God, that we're here today and we're praying for these marriages to be restored, oh God, so that the, the rekindling, oh God, to begin to happen, oh God, yes. the fire to begin, oh God, to, to take flame again, oh God, in their yes. marriage, God, and we just give your name glory today, oh God. Father, I pray that everything that was said on today, oh God, will be be applied to their lives, oh God, and that it would take root, oh God, and their marriage will begin to flourish in the area of romance, oh God. You don't want, you do not desire for us to be in a marriage, oh God, that is lifeless, oh God, and we can't feel the love. So Father, I'm just asking God that you would touch these marriages and restore the fire, oh God. Restore yes. the fire within each restore. individual as in their marriage, oh God. And we'll yes, be so God. careful to give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Ooh, this Amen. was good. I Amen. hope that you enjoyed. Listen, we'll be back with you all again next month with some great, impactful marriage material. Yes. Listen, together we, we can. can. We're here for you. Yes. God bless. Bye, y'all.